So our webinar today is entitled Safety Simplified, Oil and Gas On-Site Inspections. And facilitating our webinar today will be Steve Buffett. Now, Steve is an oil and gas solutions specialist here at Intellex, and he's worked with and helped dozens of companies in the oil and gas industry to implement safety management tools to manage and improve their workplace safety. So today, Steve's going to be sharing some of his knowledge with us, and he's going to give us some insight into the importance of on-site inspections, along with some tips, tricks, and best practices for conducting effective inspections, discovering trends, and acting on your metrics. So on that note, I'm going to hand it over to Steve, and we can get started. Thank you very much, JP. Welcome, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Uh, my name is Steve Buffett. I work with Intellax Technologies. I've been with the company for about three years in the oil and gas team. Uh, and today I want to be able to talk about what some people call inspections, what some people call audits, what some people call observations. Uh, we're really going to start with, you know, what's your current status? Uh, I mean, is status quo and what you have right now being effective for you? Then we'll get into more of, you know, there's no competition for safety. It's what I hear uh, almost on a daily basis. So standardizing what you do and, and being able to share best practices within the industry to make sure that the industry as a whole is safer. And, and making it simple for everybody to use. Uh, I mean, one of the, uh, the, I guess, the biggest challenges for companies out there is being able to have a software that's that, that you can get your highest user adoption. Uh, so making it simple for everyone to use so everybody wins. So for anybody in the industry, when it comes to managing safety for your organization, I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen this reference in this pyramid before. Uh, it's, it's well over 10 years old, but it, it gets the same point across, uh, when it comes to managing safety as we always focus our efforts on, um, preventing the fatality and being caught up with your recordable injuries. A lot of the things that we do miss is our at risk behaviors and then being able able to kind of track that by doing your audits, your inspections, your observations. So, you know, what are you doing when it comes to uncover your data? Like, is there timeliness in your reporting? How much of a delay do you have in, in being able to get your audit results or your inspection results or your observation results? Are your people carrying out your tasks when it comes to completing those inspections? And of those inspections, what are your follow-up actions or your corrective actions? Are they done? Are, are people being held accountable for what they're, for what they're responsible for? How are you doing it today? Uh, is it being done today? What happens if it's not done today is really the key question on when it comes to managing those audits, those inspections, those observations. Now, a typical software solution, you want to be able to make it easy for you to be able to find your information. You want to be able to sort, search, filter your inspections, whether whether you call them inspections, whether you call them audits, whether you call them observations. You want to be able to quickly filter based on the number of locations that you have, uh, the type that you have, the title, the person responsible, uh, who did the observing, uh, any type of data that you're looking to track. Now, a, a part of uh, a proper software application is being able to, again, hold your staff accountable. So being able to task your individuals, and, and this is actually showing, you know, a copy of managing your task, but not only holding yourself accountable, but also holding your staff accountable uh, for their, for their inspections, the audits, the observations to make sure that they're done. Now, a part of holding people accountable is notifying the right people to make sure that we live in a world where, uh, everybody is re, or has a handheld device. So they're always receiving emails, but notifying the right people and, and having the right message, uh, in that email, uh, for you know, the details that they need to know about that observation. Now, you can also have uh, different levels of notifications as well as escalations. So if if, if you have a particular site uh, that you need to be able to doing an audit or an inspection, notifying the appropriate people, reminding those people, and then in the event that when it's not done, escalating it to the right people uh, for who is responsible for that inspection or that audit. 
Now, when it comes to, you know, again, finding the details uh, in those observations, you know, are those observation forms that you're using easy? You know, are, are they easy to understand? Are they easy to use? I mean, hopefully we're not dealing with a diagram like you see here, but you want to be able to make it very easy for somebody to log in to be able to do what they need to do within 30 to 60 seconds. You know, are you tracking all of your inspections? Are you are you able to find out in a, in a clear list on how many how many inspections or how many audits are due based on each location? And once and if you're able to get that information, what is the most important data to track? Is it the fact that people completed the audits or, or the inspections, or is it the fact that there might have been twenty to thirty to forty different follow-ups? to those uh, observations and audits and, and were they completed? Were they completed on time? Were you able to share those results uh, with everybody that you know manages those audits and inspections within the organization?